ATK News is your local election headquarters, and with the clock winding down in South Carolina, Democratic candidates are making their final push for voters. Some are already moving on to Super Tuesday, where a third of all delegates will be awarded. Jeff Zeleny reports. Because South Carolina is the trajectory to winning the Democratic nomination. Joe Biden is looking for a South Carolina lifeline today, hoping a victory will revive his candidacy. This nation isn't looking for a revolution, as some of my colleagues talk about. They're looking for progress. They're looking for results. In his fight for the South Carolina primary, Biden is tying himself closely to former President Barack Obama, whose 2008 win here helped send him to the White House. It's been a launching pad for Barack, and I believe it will be the launching pad for me. This is a marathon. This is a marathon. I'm in it for the whole, uh, the whole ride here. But Bernie Sanders is still in command of the race. Let us go forward tomorrow. Let us win the primary here in South Carolina. Let us win the Democratic nomination. Let us defeat Donald Trump. Not seeding South Carolina, but also looking ahead to Super Tuesday, with 14 contests from coast to coast awarding a third of all delegates. We are building a movement that cannot be stopped. The next four days are critical for Democratic candidates fighting to stay alive. I'm the woman who's going to beat Donald Trump. I am not going to be able to outdivide the divider in chief. I will beat him. <laughs> and trying to become the alternative to Sanders. Senator Sanders is a front runner, but the majority of Democrats are looking for something else. What process will you go through post Super Tuesday to assess your way forward? Well, of course, uh, we will be looking closely at the results at the delegate count and uh, making sure that we have the right path forward. Ad spending topping the $1 billion mark. Michael Bloomberg alone accounts for half that, with more than $500 million in TV, radio, and digital ads. Tom Steyer, more than $200 million nationally. And here in South Carolina, Steyer is spending $22 million, far outpacing his rivals, including Biden. Is this fun or what? Biden's aides are keeping a close wow. eye on Steyer so and his robust well, investment in the state, afraid it could eat into Biden's expected margin of victory. Steyer pointedly dismisses the criticism. What would you say to those people who say you may be taking votes away from Vice President Biden? I would say that's insulting, not to me, but to the people that somehow he owns the votes, really. And there's an implication in there that, in fact, we're talking about African-American votes. And this weekend, both Elizabeth Warren and Michael Bloomberg are in Texas vying for votes. There are many teams out rallying for other candidates as well, like Bernie Sanders. A very active weekend here in Texas. As these presidential hopefuls know, Texas holds a large amount of delegates that they will want in order to be the next nominee.